Do you know why you struggle financially? Do you know why you've got no money at the end of the month? Because you have the habits of poor people. You see, rich people we have very, very different habits compared to the poor and the middle class. Today, I'm going to teach you what those habits are. Become getting rich is not an act; it is a habit. So it is staying poor. It's also not an act. It's not something just happens to you. It is a habit. So. Let me teach you the three best habits of rich people. The very first habit of rich people, and that is they count their money. Poor people don't count their money. They get a paycheck, they deposit the paycheck, they spend the money. They have no idea what the expenses are. They have no idea how the money flows. Rich people, we don't do that. We look at our numbers regularly. We are financially literate. So habit number one: rich people. We count our money regularly. How often you count your money? How often you look at your bank account? Not bitching about it, but how often you look at your line of every single line of expense, all your revenue, where that comes from. Is it improving? What do you need to work on? What are those key performance indicators? Are you looking at those numbers? Habit number two is they pay themselves first. Now you've heard of this before. Oh yeah, I know. Dan, I've heard of this this before. You gotta pay yourself. Do you know actually what that means? Paying yourself doesn't mean buying yourself a fucking car. It doesn't mean taking that vacation. Paying yourself meaning that you put your money aside and you invest your money. Now I'm not talking about being frugal. You know, if you know anything about me, you know my work. I'm not talking about being frugal and being cheap. I'm talking about taking a percentage of your income and putting that aside. Pay yourself first and save it, and then you invest it. That's what I mean by paying yourself. I'm telling you nowadays, with what's happening with inflation, with what's happening in the world, you should, at the very minimum, I don't care where you are, start off with 10%. I don't care if you're making thirty thousand dollars a year, you pay yourself 10% of that. Forty, forty, fifty, sixty thousand, you pay yourself 10%. And as your income increases, I want you to also increase the ratio. So you should, at first, 10%. Then you should aim to save 15%, 20%, 30%. 40% to a point where you are making so much more money, and then now you're you're only spending a small percentage of what you earn. That's your goal. That's called paying yourself. Habit of rich people number three, and that is rich people are constantly improving their earning ability. Because you might be thinking, Dan, okay, I want to pay myself first, but I'm not making enough money. I'm only making a few thousand a month. I I could even I couldn't even afford to pay my bills. How am I going to pay myself first? First of all, you got to have the habit of paying yourself first. And in order to do that, in order to be able to every single year to be able to pay yourself more and more and more and put it into investments, you need to improve your earning ability. You need to find ways how you can add value to the marketplace. How to add more value to the marketplace. So every single year, your income is going up every year. If you've been you've been Working in in out in the real world, and you have your own business, and your income kind of stays flat for the last two, three, five years. Then shame on you. It means you're not learning. It means you're not thinking. Every single year, your income. You have to strive to improve that. Your earning ability. And rich people, we're always constantly looking for ways to improve our earning ability, but also looking for ways to add leverage, to apply. Leverage into what we do. Maybe is through relationships. Maybe is apply leverage through learning. So I have, I know I have more ideas, I have more strategies. I can improve what I do. Maybe is through better people, right? Maybe is through marketing. How could I get my, how can I get my message out there? So those are the habits, the three best habits of rich people. Understand this. I'm gonna leave you with a quote. You do not decide your future. You decide your habits, and your habits decide your future.